and welcome back here we are for part two of the nano long range DIY 3d printed drone today we're taking it out for a longer test flight than we did last time beautiful weather however the wind was very very high I'm flying at an angle here you can see just to keep it straight and on course after flying out a little bit I noticed there were some problems with my crossfire receiver transmitter combination uh, my RSSI was rather low and I kept getting feedback uh, that the telemetry was lost and recovered and it repeated over and over again for the next well 12 13 minute flight you'll see here fortunately for you you won't have to hear it um, but for me I heard it the whole flight which was rather irritating it's something I have to look into it's uh, I'm sure it's a configuration problem Now here I'm just going to take it straight out Here I am getting to a kilometer and VTX cut out a little bit. I could have kept going, but my crossfire receiver transmitter was acting funny, so I decided to take it back. This is, as I said, a follow-up video to a build video I had done previously on how to build this uh, 3D printed drone. Um, the details are in the description if you're interested. Coming up you'll see my problems with my crossfire transmitter receiver combo. Um, I lose signal for somewhat of about a second. You'll see RX lost will pop up and the drone just falls from the sky. However the connection picked back up and I was able to get it back. And there we are. Lucky for me, I didn't have to go looking for it. It is a green drone. I printed it in green filament, and it is getting summer, so that would have camouflaged it in the grass for sure. Made my life pretty difficult.
you can't probably see it, but I'm really fighting the wind here. Coming up over that uh, hill, um, there was quite a bit of turbulence towards the ridge of the hill. Lucky for me, I wasn't bothered by anyone this time on this flight. No one pushed my things out of the way or got in the way for that matter. still amazed at the capability of this little drone. First of all, that it's 3D printed and it runs on an 18650 battery. One series battery is is amazing, frankly. For the duration of the flight, you'll notice the video is rather clear. And interestingly, when I lost connection, the VTX was transmitting nice and strong, so there's a definite configuration problem. When I get that problem fixed, I'll do one more follow-up video and try to get it out as far as I can, hopefully without losing it. This was a very beautiful day. If it weren't for the wind, it would have been ideal, not only for flying, just to be outside. As the battery gets around 2.8 volts, I try to keep it closer to home so I don't have to walk all the way across this field, down the mountain, wherever, to go find it. After this point, I don't fly any further than half a kilometer, I don't think. Now if it weren't for my my receiver and transmitter not functioning correctly, I could have easily taken this out much further.
Here the batteries get much lower, but it's nothing I can't deal with. As I said, the wind doesn't die down. Now here, the wind started blowing more and more. Here I got a big gust of wind as I turned around and the wind just pushed the drone straight to the ground here. So that's the end of my test flight. I'll be posting another in the future when I get my problem sorted out with my Crossfire module.